Steve. I know you guys were happy with the first period. What happened in the second? How did the Blues do this? Well, they, I think their game turned up a little bit, and we didn't have the ability to, to turn that up. And we made some critical, just some coverage errors to give them some great A chances. And you know, a good team like that, you, we don't have that much room for error. With some of those, some of those mistakes we're making, or they end up in the back of our net, and then you're chasing the game. Still, it's a one-goal game now, right? Yeah. Right? One goal game, same thing. Third goal is a poor coverage, poor coverage by McGinn, and uh, ends up in the back of our net. Territorially, what, what were you doing right in the first period? Yeah, I thought I thought we moved the puck all right. We, we, you know, we look like there's some, they're young players, but there's some players that look like they have some skill out there, and we're trying to trying to bring more skill in our game. And and there's you know there was times when we moved the puck very well. We just we needed to capitalize on a couple more chances, and like I say, there's some breakdowns that and we just got to learn from some of these lessons and clean them up. Clayton. Uh, solid. You know, he looks like a good player. He's got good skill. He's certainly not. Uh, he's not worried about getting any confrontations. He plays hard along the wall. He, I mean, he, he's not a big guy, but he, he competes hard, and he, he looks like a hockey player. He's he's got great hockey sense. You watch how he manages the game between line changes, just manages the puck. It was, it was a good start for him. Now that the hoopla is over and St. Louis is done, are you interested to see how he maybe finds a rhythm the rest of the way? And yeah, we'll, see how, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, he's a young, young player, and I'm sure there was lots of nerves today. I mean, lots of family in your hometown. So as we go on here, I think you'll see him get more comfortable, and, and hopefully we, you know, you'll see his game continue to expand. How was Burmese drop after about a month off? Uh, he's all right. Yeah, he's all right. I mean, he was one of those guys, like you say, you like his skill in the game, makes some good plays. But that being said, we've got to get a little more finished. D'Angelo with five goals on this season. How, how has he evolved in the last little bit of your day? You know, he's another one of those good young players. You you, you love his puck play. I mean, he's a, a, an offensive threat out there. Still has lots to learn on the other side of the puck, you know. And, and uh, you know, when you get chasing games, he's a good player for you on there. But... He's a, he's a good young player. He's kind of like a today's NHL defenseman where great mobility, real competitive, but just needs a little more experience. So many young guys on a trip like this. How did they how did they manage this trip? This is a pretty big test for a young group, wasn't it? Well, our results weren't as weren't as good as we'd like. I mean, we you know, we're competitive in games, but like tonight was a typical game. You're playing against a good team where your margin for error is pretty slim and when you're making some critical mistakes to give up key chances they come to bite you and then you know it's just we're a little uh, we're a little inexperienced to chase games like that